Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2020 Toyota Highlander, we're going to be taking a look at the Thule Hitching Post Pro for bike rack. So this rack can hold up to a total of four bikes. And right away, the first thing I noticed is where the rack is going to hold the bike in relation to our Highlander's back window. And to me, it's right there in that sweet spot. Whenever you're looking out of the rear view, you can still kind of keep an eye on your bikes but they're not gonna sit up so high that they're really going to block or affect your vision. So the way the rack works is really simple, and that's one of the things I like about it. It's gonna hold our bike down in three spots. So we're gonna have two straps here along the top two, and a strap down here. And this one's gonna act as an anti-sway strap to help prevent that side-to-side -side movement as we're going down the road. That way we don't have to worry about our bikes kind of swinging and banging into each other. With that being said, let's go ahead and take our bike off the rack to have a better look at it. Pretty straightforward, just pull down on the straps and that'll release them from those little tabs there. Same thing with this one down here. Just grab it and slide it off. So the cradles here where our bike's frame is going to sit are made from a relatively soft rubber material so I don't really see the scratching up your bike's paint or anything like that. There's gonna be three grooves here in the bottom and that's to accommodate any brake cables. That way you don't have to worry about them getting pinched or kinked. And one of the things that really does separate this rack from some of the other ones of similar design at least is the straps. Really heavy duty, really thick and tough. I can see these lasting a long time. I don't really see them wearing out or the holes getting too large to actually keep a hold of the tab here. So that's definitely a benefit and something you shouldn't need to worry about for years to come. Now, whenever we have the rack on the back of our Highlander, it is going to extend the overall length. And if you measure exactly how much, we'll just go from the hatch here to the very edge of the rack. Looks like it's gonna be right at 41 inches. So with the Highlander already being a relatively long SUV, something you wanna keep in the back of your mind whenever you're pulling into your garage or tight parking spot. Now, if you do need to free up some space, the good news is the arms do swing down. And the way that you would do that is simply come over here. We're gonna have a clip and a pin. Let's pop that clip off, pull the pin out. If you are traveling with it in this position, you can't just put the pen back in to keep everything secure. And with it like that, it really frees up a ton of space. So we'll measure again. And in this position, it's only at 20 inches. So I really don't see this giving you any trouble at all when you do go to pull in your garage or that tight spot. One of the big questions we get asked all the time in regards to these hitch mounted bike racks is if you're still gonna have full access to the back of your SUV. Now this one does fold down out of the way and gives us the ability to do so. Come down here, pop off the clip, pull the pin out, and this thing's gonna swing all the way down and give us a ton of space to get whatever we may need in and out of the back of our Highlander. So what's really nice about this setup too is the rack is gonna have the ability to work with the two inch by two inch hitches like we have here today on our Highlander but it can also work with the smaller inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter hitches. That way, if you happen to have a, another vehicle in the household with that smaller size hitch, chances are pretty good the rack is gonna work with it too. It's also going to come included with a anti-rattle bolt. And what that's gonna do is eliminate any slop or play in the connection point here. And that's just really gonna help quiet the ride down inside of your Toyota and provide your bikes with a little bit more of a smooth ride as well. So to give you an example, say if you're going down the road, we're hitting some bumps, you can see that the rack is gonna move with the Highlander and not on its own. But at the end of the day, a rack you really can't go wrong with. It's going to look really stylish on the back of your Highlander, especially if you plan on keeping it on for a while. And it's just gonna be a great compact way to carry around a lot of bikes. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. 
Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. And that'll finish up our look at of the Thule Hitching Post Pro 4 bike rack on our 2020 Toyota Highlander.